Anyway, the point I really want to get to is what I just mentioned. I mentioned about fight or flight. People say there's two responses to danger, fight or flight. Either throw punches back if you get attacked, because you're not necessarily fighting, but throw punches back if you get attacked or bust out, yeah? Fight or flight. So most people think there's just two responses, fight or flight. There's actually a third response. It's not really a response. It's no response. It's in action. It's called freezing up. Let me tell you something right now. In a dangerous situation, yeah, whether someone's coming at you, you know, with a few punches, a few right hooks, knuckle duster or a big ZK or something like that. In a dangerous situation, the worst thing you can do is freeze up, is take no action. That's the worst. See, a lot of people, they may get someone approaching them or a few people approaching them and they don't run away. And certain people think, oh, you're brave for not running away. It's not that rude, boy. It's not that they did not run away because they intended to fight. They did not run away because they froze up. Freezing up is the worst thing you can do because on a biological level, your body doesn't even know how to react in a dangerous situation. Your body doesn't run. Your body doesn't fight. It freezes up. It completely shuts down. That is dangerous. Yeah? If someone is shooting at you, the best thing you can do is move right or left. If you freeze up, you are fucked. You are sitting duck. It's like shooting fish in a barrel, blood. So certain man right now, like I've seen videos and that where like, you get me? <laughs> ten, yeah, ten ninjas, twenty ninjas are running towards some white you and, and the white you. It's like, yo, 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 blood. Fam, keep it moving. Me, I've never had a situation where I froze up. I've had man rush me, I've had man beat me up, whatever I've had man come at me with knives and that. Man never freeze up. I'll keep it moving, I'll run away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, run away from a few people. I've also chased down and ducked down a few people. I've also smacked up a few people. But man's had to keep it moving. Sometimes you're just outnumbered, did it? Yeah. Five man up, keep it moving, run away. We'll ride back, yeah? Same day, if not next day. Quick 24-hour replies, yeah? But man's not freezing up. That's the worst thing. That, that is detrimental to your health. Your fight or flight response doesn't even work. Your body completely shuts down in action. You don't even know how to activate anything. Man. So that's the worst thing. But what can you expect from this guy really and truly, this cab driver? The man are not on this thing. They're, they're just saying a lot of men, yeah, they will think they know what to do in certain situations and that. And blood, you're just not built for that. Built for this thing. I guarantee you that guy there, yeah, if he spoke, if, if in the past he spoke to his wife, like, oh, imagine, yeah, some boy try to run up on the car or whatever and that, or he saw this situation playing out with someone else, he would say, oh, I would have done this, I would have done that. So you ain't going to do nothing. You ain't going to do nothing, man. But what can you expect from a man like this? Like, some of the dumb stuff that we used to do back in the day, fam, seven man, eight man up in a seven-seater, people carrying that. Man, they must sitting on laps to go over there to see if we can do this and do that. Fam, that is the dumbest thing that man used to do, fam, because... If something gets dropped or something gets mashed up severely and that, when they find out how we was transported and that, Mr. Muhammad Iqbal don't care about no street credibility. He don't believe in no snitching, F the police and that. He's talking. My man's got six kids living in a, a fucking two-bed flat. My man, he needs his money, bro. He ain't don't care about no street code or nothing like that. So, man, man, they just need to be careful, man. You, you go in places in cabs, riding out in cabs, doing all this nonsense and that. But you're around people that don't give a fuck about some street code and that, and they will tell the police everything they need to fucking know.